Back in 2020, I saw Dr. Photograph's photoshopped image of the Monster Energy Mayonnaise, the Heinz Mayo Monster, and I was inspired, so I made it myself. Then back in 2021, we made the KFC Mayo. These were both for April Fool's Day. Well, it's just had April Fool's Day this year, and I made Coca-Cola Mayo. This is the behind the scenes video for that. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. I'm not sure what this is, but my name's MJ. Uh, yeah, welcome to the behind the scenes. Coca-Cola mayo. That is what I'm making this year. I haven't made it yet. I've got the ingredients here. I've got my Coke, which I'm gonna reduce down right now. And I've also got cola flavoring, because I think we'll need that as well. I've got our mayo, so we're gonna mix it up, put it back in the tub, and then see how we get on. Actually, as with last year's, I'm using Hellman's mayo, because it's sort of the best one, isn't it? I think the, the Heinz one tends to be a little bit more vinegary, a bit more sour. So yeah, we're gonna get the Hellman's out. Uh, let's get this room stinking of mayo. Okay, oh God, look, at. oh God. I've already made a mess, all my mayo's just plunged everywhere. Right. This is so gross. God, I hate doing this. I really do, guys. I can't tell you how much it makes the room smell. Oh God, it's just not good, is it? Okay, I've now emptied out the Heinz one, so I just need to peel the label off now. Um, I've got it filled with hot water so the adhesive loosens up a bit. Okay, all of a sudden it's actually started going really well and I'm able to pull it off. Ideally, I actually want, I don't have a prit stick, so ideally I actually want a little bit of the adhesive still on there. Christ, this has gone better than any other year. Oh my God. I've peeled it off, guys. Fantastic. Look at that. There we go. Boom. There we go. Look at that. Wow, cool. The next stage, turn that down. The next stage is going to be boiling off out of Coca Cola. So I've got two, what are these, 150 milliliter cans. So this is similar to what I did with the Monster Energy Mayo, in that I just boiled down some of the actual drink in order to make a syrup to put in the mayo. So, you know. Yes guys, this is an April Fool, but it's still authentic. Right, let's get the other can in there as well. Oh, smell the absolute genuine coke of it. I'll tell you what actually, just lick the spatula, hang on. Hmm, warm coke isn't bad. Can't remember how long the mayo wants to took actually at this stage. It's been a couple of minutes so far. Obviously not much happening at the moment other than the coke getting hot. I've got it on like a pretty low setting. Should I turn it up? I don't know really. Has anyone ever filmed Coca-Cola boiling in 4K? If they haven't before, then they have now. Okay, I think I'm definitely getting to stage now where I can sort of definitely tell that it's getting gloopier. The bubbles around here, sort of, they look a bit more syrupy. Been a couple of minutes since I last filmed. And look, if I tilt the pan, you can kind of see the sort of syrupiness of it now. It's it's getting there. It's not it's not syrupy enough yet, but it's, we're nearly there. Yeah, I think I'm going to cool it there. I think that's going to be good enough. Let's go. The other thing that I want to make quite interesting is the colour. So I've got a little bit of red food dye here. So I'm thinking I'm thinking like of going for like a brownie red with the with the obviously the colour from the coke. I don't know how much the colour from the coke is actually going to affect it but as you can see it's quite liquidy still I'm going to wait a little bit for it to cool down a bit more to see if it becomes a bit thicker before I start mixing it into the actual mayo and we go oh little preview drip looks like soy sauce okay I'm going to start putting a bit in right there's a bit of red food colouring first Sorry, the doorbell went then. Uh, right, so uh, as I was saying, I've just put some red food dye in. And red, this powder food dye is really, really strong. So let's mix that in a little bit. I mean, you can see just from how little I put in and how much it's colouring it already, I'm going to put in a little bit more of this syrup. Oh yeah, it's getting a lot thicker now. Look at that. Right, here we go, guys. 
Now I'm just going to put a little squirt of, oh brilliant, the fucking... I'm just going to put a little squirt of this cola food flavouring in. Several drops. Again, this is quite strong stuff as well, so... Right, here we go. Oh, I'm already really happy with the colour, actually. Oh man, you can smell it really loads now that that food flavouring's gone in. Oh god, that smells so weird. Right, I'm just going to go with the rest of the syrup. I think this is fine. Alright. Boom, scrape it out. Yeah, it's getting really thick. Those, especially those isolated bits are getting very thick. I need to get the hot water on that straight away. Right, here we go, guys. Wow. Oh, the colour is so good. Okay, I think I'm going to put a bit more cola flavouring in before I actually taste it for the first time. Do I want any more red colouring as well? I actually think the colour's quite good, so I might leave it. Right, let's give it a little, little dab. Definitely get the tanginess from the actual Coke syrup. It is strong, but not strong enough. I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit of lime juice in there. Because I think that will go well with the cola. And actually, I am, despite saying I wasn't, I'm going to put a bit more Coke in. Quite a lot that was, actually. But there... I'm not going to try it anymore. I'm going to save my reaction for the actual proper review, which I'm going to film tomorrow because I haven't got the label yet. My friend Sammy is printing off the label for me. We are done. We are finished. Let's get it into the bottle. I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to use a piping bag. Oh boy. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is great. Good idea from me. I can't remember how I got the mayo in the bottle the previous years. But this is smart. I'm smart. Okay. Oh, sugar is coming out. Right. <laughs> Trying to keep it in shot for you guys. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, perfect. God. This has gone incredibly well. And then all we do is shake it up. And it looks like a full bottle. Bob's your uncle. There we go. Now for the label. So here we go, guys. I have now got the printouts for the mayonnaise. Uh, so we've got one. This one's a little duller. And then this one, the blacks are a bit richer. Uh, and it's all a bit darker. So I think I'm going to go for this one. Let's cut it out and see if we can get it on the actual mayonnaise, which is nice and sticky and tacky. Okay, I've cut it out. There it is. It's our sticky mayo. Right, here we go. Okay. Right. That looks like about the right place. Something like that. Oh boy. We're on. Simple as that, guys. Boom. Coca-Cola mayonnaise. Done. Right, so I've just finished the review. And uh, yeah, I did it in like this hummus sandwich thing. And look, proper bite. It's actually really nice. Like, the lemon works really well with... I don't know why it is fizzy, but it has got this like fizzy tart thing going on. Not even sour. Because like, obviously I put lime juice in it. It's not really sour. Um, just like this cool zingy thing going on with it. Right. So right. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you for watching me make this goddamn product. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, do like and subscribe and do all of those great things. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. That is like the perfect blend of child and adult. <laughs> that makes oh my god! Yeah, it does sound that a bit. That's the that's, worst thing you could possibly say. Yeah, it sounds a bit fucked up, actually. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> Horrific. <laughs>